at the Capitol. Brittany? Jim, Governor Kay Ivey definitely had a busy day here in Montgomery. She spent her time signing a bill into law, catching up on legislative and executive issues, and promising to bring honesty and transparency to Montgomery. After signing SB 16, the new law that prevents judicial override in death penalty cases, Governor Kay Ivey went to lunch with staff members. She says she's already been hard at work. We've covered a lot of territory with a lot of information. We've met with Greg Canfield and gotten briefed up on some of the economic development projects. We've got to know what's been going on so we can uh, make good decisions. As for what's next, with half a legislative session left to go, budgets, prison reform, and a gas tax rank high on legislators' list. And what they think Governor Ivey will take up next. I think her, her biggest thing is just going to be fiscal responsibility. Uh, Governor Ivey's a, a strong, conservative woman, and, and she's going to, to pretty much vet everything that comes through. You know, we're halfway through. We got half left. We've already got the budgets uh, each out of each house, one, one, one of the budgets. Uh, I think it's a benefit that uh, Governor Ivey has been sitting in this body. She knows what we've been dealing with. Now, we've also been told that Governor Ivey has requested resignation letters from Governor Bitley's cabinet members, but that is just standard procedure that happens in cases like these to determine who will stay in Governor Ivey's administration and who will go. Live in Montgomery, Brittany Bevan, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.